This video will show you how to create a pipe spacer. Three methods will be shown to illustrate important general techniques. The spacer will be one inch in diameter, one inch in length, and will have arcs on both ends to fit the pipe. The pipe will be 1.5 inch diameter. Choose File, New, Blank Design, to start a new design in the top view. Click the circle button and draw a circle. Set the diameter to one inch. Set the Z value to one inch, which is the amount of material perpendicular to the screen. Choose View, Front, to view the drawing from the front side of the part. The side view of a cylinder is a rectangle. We now need to draw the arcs. Click the circle button and draw a circle representing the pipe. Set the diameter to 1.5 inches. Now we have to place the pipe circle at the bottom of the rectangle, approximately here. We can do so simply by dragging the circle with the mouse to try to get the circle to just intersect the ends of the rectangle, but this is not an accurate method. If you zoom in, you will invariably find that the lines don't quite meet. A better way is to use the nudge feature. Drag the circle to snap to the center of the rectangle. Set the nudge value to 0 0.1. Now nudge the circle into position. This way, the circle is centered horizontally, but we can zoom in to see that the vertical positioning is still not exact. A third and final method will give exact results quickly. The method will construct the location for the center of the needed arc. Snap the 1.5 inch circle to the bottom of one side of the rectangle. Click the repeat button to make a copy. Drag the copy to the opposing point. The intersection of two circles is the point to use as the center of the arc. Use the arc button and draw the arc. Draw arcs counterclockwise. While holding the control key, select the two circles. Delete the two circles. Click the line button and draw a line from one end of the arc to the other end. While holding the control key, select the line and the arc. Click the group button to join the lines into a closed shape. Set the Z value to air inside to indicate to remove all material inside the shape. Click the repeat button to make a copy. While holding down the control key, drag the center of the arc downward until the shape is mirrored. 
drag the mirror shape into position at the top of the rectangle. Click the Pyramid button to check the three-dimensional view.